the federal funds rate is up. You probably caught that news last week because uh, it was all over the place. I know other things obviously have been happening in the world, but that was uh, in terms of uh, the real estate world, that was really the big news. But what does this uh, federal funds rate, popularly known as the interest rate, increase? What does this mean for you? Well, let's dive on into that this week. What's up, guys? I am Ryan Gilmartin, a realtor here in uh, the beautiful North Shore of Boston, Salem, Massachusetts. In particular, I own a team called Pivot Properties, part of Keller Williams Realty Evolution, uh, base rate in the greater Salem area. So uh, let's let's dive into this question here. First, uh, why would the government raise the interest rates when we all know that that kind of hurts the economy. And the reason is because uh, the economy is kind of uh, spiraling a little bit. Uh, we, we've noticed, uh, obviously been paying attention to anything at all, that the interest, uh, that inflation has been going up. Uh, and one of the tools that the government uh, can use, that the Fed can use to keep inflation to that magic 2% number is raising interest rates to make it more difficult to get money because the cause of inflation is the out of control spending of money. So that, that's that's how it works. Um, so what does this mean for the real estate market? First, um, the interest rate itself and the mortgage rate aren't necessarily the same thing. They're not totally linked. They do tend to follow one another. Uh, our mortgage rate is uh, more closely tied to the 10-year uh, treasury note. Uh, and th so these things do tend to move hand in hand. They don't necessarily identically reflect one another. So, uh, you know, long story short on that one is you can expect to see a small increase in mortgage rates as well. We've already been seeing that going on. I cannot say if that was in anticipation of the um, the federal funds re rate also increasing, but we haven't seen mortgage rates go up. Uh, a year ago, they were about a full point below where they are right now. So uh, we have crossed 4%. We were thinking we would maybe get there at the end of the year where they're already. Um, so uh, I, I'm not saying this does not impact mortgage rates. I, what I am saying is that it's not necessarily a like for like a direct correlation either. Uh, and you can't expect to see interest rates, mortgage rates rather, going up over the course of the year as uh, the government is trying to slow down the economy and spending, including spending on houses. So um, what does that mean for us in terms of uh, homeowners first? Uh, we've already seen a, a, a massive decrease in the amount of people applying for uh, refinancing their property. Um, that is because the rates have been going up. It's just less attractive now than it was when the rate was like at 3.1 or whatever it was like a year ago. Uh, beyond that, this will definitely impact uh, HELOCs, home, home, home equity line to credit, and uh, home equity loans as well. Uh, there is a much more direct correlation of the federal funds rate and uh, what people are being charged for their line of credit uh, for, for home equity too. So uh, we will start to see those numbers increasing. Um, I believe for HELOCs, I read uh, for, for $50,000, you're going to see an increase of about $11 uh, a, a month um, or uh, maybe about uh, 21 $22 per month for $100,000 uh, home equity line of credit. So uh, that is certainly one thing to be paying attention to. Uh, for those interested in actually selling their home, uh, there is going to be um, a couple of things that you need to pay attention to. First, with rates going up uh, and pre-approvals, you know, in some cases being outdated, what homeowners are going to have to ask their agents to do is ensure that uh, the agent is confirming with the lender that the pre-approval would still be valid at the higher rates because a lot of times pre-approval was issued with a lower rate and somebody might have been able to afford money. So they're up, right up against like the top of their budget. They might not be able to qualify for the loan anymore. So it's very important. Any agent should be doing that, but it's very important that agents are checking in with lenders. Um, I just had to do it. We had a home on the uh, property in the market uh, in Lynn and uh, very first thing I had to do was call the lenders for at least the, the top contenders. We got 12 offers, so at least the top contenders uh, to ensure that um, that mortgage that that mortgage rate that they have been given and their uh, pre-approval amount was still 
uh, still, at least recently done, are still valid even with the increased rates. Um, and we did find that the highest offer that was no longer true for, and they were not going to be able to afford the home at that particular price. So we had to take that top dollar amount. It was painful and just put it off uh, to the side because they were not going to qualify for that amount of money. In fact, with the interest rates going up, they're going to qualify for a lot less. Uh, or they're going to drop themselves from the best offer right down to like the 10th offer. So uh, these are things, things that agents are going to want to be paying attention to. As we go on down the road this year, uh, the Fed has already said that they are planning, depending on how uh, the economy responds and what we were seeing with inflation, they are looking at potentially up to six more additional uh, increases to the interest rate, which will uh, you know, indirectly impact the mortgage rates as well. So we are likely going to start seeing, we think, don't know, we think, is fewer buyers out there, more buyers just saying, you know what, uh, I've been looking at houses at a particular price range, uh, you know, with the rates going up, I can no longer afford those, and I'm not willing to accept these uh, price, the, these properties that are now in my new price range. So you're going to see buyers jumping out of the market, uh, people slowing down their search. Uh, some are probably going to make a very incorrect decision and say, hey, I'm just going to wait for the rates to go down, uh, not fully understanding how just uh, abnormal these 3% rates are. Uh, I would not put money on ever seeing those again, just, just to be entirely honest. Um, so uh, we, we are going to see fewer buyers out there, and uh, buyers who are going to continue to search are no longer going to have that high, same higher price point. Uh, they're going to be looking at lower price points too. So the higher uh, a home value is or higher a listing price is, uh, the more that this is going to directly impact them. In the short term, what we'll probably see, and we've already been seeing, is a lot, even more of these multiple, multiple offer situations because people know rates will continue to go up and it is better for them to lock in a rate. Now, even if it's overpaying by a couple tens of thousands of dollars, it does make more sense in terms of their monthly payment to overpay now as opposed to uh, wait, it, wait it out and then uh, maybe um, getting home for the same price, but now they're paying an extra few hundred dollars a month because their interest rate went up. So that's the world we're looking at right now. Short term, probably going to see a uh, continued white hot market. Long term, it's probably going to start pouring some cool water on things, but we're definitely going to see uh, how that plays out. Any questions, feel free to give me a shout. Uh, otherwise, we hope, uh, hope spring is off to a good start for you. We'll check in with you later.